guys so today I have this middle school back to school makeup look fortunately summer is coming to an end I feel like summer flew by but I'm just already like I'm in the mode I'm like ready for Christmas I'm ready for fall I'm ready for pumpkin spice I'm ready for my caramel apple spice latte from Starbucks like I'm prepared like I'm so ready um, I'm ready for like fall decorations pumpkins like I'm so excited I know that with fall uh, schools comes and it's not always that fun but um, I have decided to do a very natural like middle school makeup look you could even do this in high school like I hey I used to do this like every day to go to school like at my age now and I'm 20 so um, this is definitely for just someone that wants to look put together I had to come on here and do this for you guys today because back to school is coming up and if you are younger and you want to look forward to something before school this is definitely the way to do it this was always like one of my favorite parts of my school day was actually beforehand getting ready for school so so um, I hope this is helpful to some of you guys and just keep some of these products and tips in mind um, and yeah if you guys want to wear more makeup wear more makeup if you want to wear less wear less it's honestly just kind of like taking my tips and my tricks and just kind of like working them with what you want so I hope you guys like this video and if you guys want to see how I got this back to school makeup look then just keep on watching okay guys so to start off you're gonna to want to make sure your skin is cleansed and moisturized even if you are young you want to make sure you're still taking care of your skin so make sure you're cleansing your face make sure make sure you're moisturizing and everything like that um, so probably if you're middle school you're probably not gonna to want too much coverage or too much foundation whatever so I would suggest using a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer um, you can find some really good ones elf has some which you can get at Target and some Walmart's for like $3 three to six dollars the one that I'm gonna use is the NYX BB cream I like this one because it gives more coverage and it's really good so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start out with this BB cream it's really light and it doesn't look too heavy on the skin so that's why I'm using this one and I'm just gonna basically take that on a brush and just um, basically just put this all over my face If you guys watched my first impression uh, demo video, you guys will already uh, know about this and you'll know how much I love this stuff. Um, but it's really, it's really good and as you guys can tell that gave me a good coverage. So you guys, this is what you get after one layer of the foundation. Now for someone younger, this is probably like the perfect um, coverage, the perfect amount. Um, and really it's like barely detectable, like you can't really tell that I have anything on my face. For me, I'm going to go ahead and build it up really quickly. If you have like problem areas or you just want your face to be a little bit more covered, you can go ahead and build it up, which is what I'm going to do now. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like after I have um, the two layers on. Still looks very natural. You can still see my skin peeking through, my freckles, which is kind of what I want. For concealer, um, if you have blemishes, I would say get a concealer that is the same color of your skin tone um, and just put it wherever you have the blemish. Um, if you don't have blemishes, you can just get a concealer. I really like this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and it's pretty cheap. And basically I'm just going to take this just like right underneath the eyes and in the inner corner here because um, if you're really tired and you're having to get up early for school and you have like some dark circles even younger you know aged kids will get this as well um, you want to make sure you're covering that so if you go up into like the tear duct area it's gonna cover that I'm not gonna do my usual like triangle shape because it's just not necessary with um, this look I mean if you're younger and you're just going to school who really cares and then you're gonna take some kind of sponge or your finger whatever you've got and blend out if you can't afford the beauty blender you don't have a beauty blender whatever the case may be um, these Soho sponges from Walmart are really good um, I actually use these a lot before I got the beauty blender these I think retail for about four to five dollars or you could go to Ulta and get the uh, real technique sponge which is also really good which is only six dollars so if you're on a budget keep the Soho blending sponge in mind and the um, real technique sponge but I am just going to use my beauty blender because it's just what I have um, I'm just going to basically just blend out this concealer and really all we're using concealer for because I know that a lot of kids don't really get dark circles or anything like that, especially if you're in middle school. This is just going to kind of brighten your eyes up and make you look like you're awake. 
powder, um, you don't have to use powder if you don't want to. I would personally suggest you guys use powder underneath your eyes just to kind of set the concealer so nothing's creasing. Um, and the powder that I'm going to use today is just the Airspun um, Loose Powder, which is retails for about like five dollars once again at Walmart if you can spend more money and you're serious about makeup and you actually want to wear it and you're gonna be wearing more makeup like on the weekends rather than um, what you're wearing in school you could also uh, spend a little bit more and get this NYX highlighting contour palette it's really good it's about $25 um, and it's really just it's a really good option you could use these two powders to set underneath your eyes and then you also have some bronzing and contouring powders but that's that's only for someone that really really wants to get into makeup um, or I mean if you wanted it go for it I'm just gonna take this powder and just like lightly dab it underneath my eyes just to set the concealer so it doesn't crease during the day and then I'm also just gonna set over the eyelids so that there's no creasing on my eyelids as well And you could also use like a pressed powder that you have, like really any of your favorite powder to set this. Um, I just use this one because it's what I have and it's cheap and it's good and it comes with so much. Um, so yeah. The next step you can totally void out and just like not do if you don't want to. I'm going to do it because I personally feel that... You know, you don't want too much being that young, but at the same time, it's okay to make your face look fresh and, you know, like you've gotten sun and things like that. So I'm going to put bronzer on. What I'm using as my bronzer is a darker pressed powder. So if you have something that has like a dark pressed powder in it, um, use what you have. Um, you don't have to go out and buy like a specific bronzer. But if you do want that, then e.l.f. has some really good ones. And really all I'm doing with this bronzer is I'm just going to put this on my temples. The reason that I'm putting this bronzer on is because I look a little flat and just one dimensional and I just want to kind of bring some life to my face. That's all I'm trying to do is just bring some color and life to my face. So I'm just very lightly putting this on my temples a little bit on my cheeks I'm not really being like very like cautious of where I put this and you know specific I'm just kind of going you know just giving myself a little bit of color so for eyebrows I'm gonna be using this elf eyebrow kit you don't have to do your eyebrows if you're really young and you just don't feel like you need it I'm just gonna do this because um, it pulls the whole look together, it pulls your face together, and it looks really good. But this e.l.f. eyebrow kit is really good, and I'm just taking the powder side, and I'm just going to kind of just lightly fill in my brows. If you don't want too much, but you just want some definition, this is perfect. Okay, you guys, and there are my eyebrows. It just gives me a little bit more definition in my face. Um, I tried not to do them too dark, um, and I know they look kind of harsh, but they're really not. And it also looks like really red in the camera, but it's not like that necessarily in person. Um, and once again, that step is just optional. If you want to look like you are like more put together and you want that, then go for it. The next step is just curling your lashes and putting mascara on. I just got the, these eyelash curlers once again. Um, they're the e.l.f. brand, so you can get this at Walmart or Target for like $2. They even have some for a dollar that are really good. Curl my lashes. Like this CoverGirl flamed out mascara. You guys see I use this in every video, and it's honestly because I do like this stuff. So if you are um, wanting something really natural, you could go for the one in Brown Blaze. This one's really good. This one right here, the reason why the cap is purple is because it's the Mega Curl. It doesn't really matter. This one is in black. For this look, I'm actually going to use the Brown Blaze. And I actually like this on a daily basis. Like I wear this a lot because it just looks so pretty and natural. And you're just going to put that on. It's not going to be too harsh, especially if you're not going to be wearing any eyeshadow, which um, I wouldn't. Um, and I'm not in this video. It just looks like really pretty and natural and just makes your lashes just stand out just enough. Okay, and you guys can see like the difference that mascara makes. It just kind of like makes your eyes pop and like brings a little bit more attention to your eyes. Tiny bit on the bottom lashes.
And um, just a little tip, uh, as you guys can tell, I got some mascara on my uh, face and after I've already done my makeup. So if this happens to you, just wait a minute and let it dry and then I'm going to show you what to do. Don't try to what, rub it off right away though because it will smear everywhere. So I'm just going to let this dry while I finish the rest of my face. Next I'm going to put on blush and the blush that I'm going to use is just this e.l.f. blush in twinkle pink. Um, I would suggest a blush very like peachy pink, like bright, fun because when you're young you just have this youthful glow to you as it is, um, but a blush like this is really going to bring that out. So you're just basically just going to put this on your cheekbones. Don't focus it right here on your apples, like bring it up a little bit like almost to your hairline and it's going to look more natural and not look so like fake and caked on. But just like put this blush on, it's so pretty. You can get this for I think about $3 at Target or Walmart. And these blushes are so good. Like honestly, they're so pretty. So as you guys can tell, it just brought like some life to my face. I don't look so dull um, and so bleh. You definitely want to add a blush, especially if you put powder and foundation on. So now for lips. Um, if you're really young and you don't really want to wear lipstick or you don't want to just wear chapstick, you want something um, on your lips, you could definitely get a, just use like a lip gloss. Like honestly, that's what I used to do and that's what I still do. Like if I just don't want to wear any lipstick or anything like that, I just want just something on my lips. I highly recommend the um, NYX uh, Butter Glosses. You can get those at Target. Um, Target and uh, Ulta and they're pretty cheap as well you can just pick out like your favorite color and just wear that and those are honestly so good like those are like my favorite lip glosses so you could do that or if you wanted to you could get some kind of like sheer lipsticks so I also recommend the butter lipsticks from NYX and I'm just going to use this because it's a very like youthful young pink and this is in the shade Hubba Bubba and I'm just going to put just a very thin layer of this on. And so as you guys could just tell, I basically just like put a very thin layer on my bottom lip and just like rub my lips together and it like created this beautiful soft pink. It's like perfect. You can definitely tell I have something on my lips, but it's not like too, too much. So really quickly, what I'm going to show you is what now that this has dried, I've done my blush and my lips and everything, take a Q-tip. And honestly, just gently, like, roll it. Rub it. It won't take your makeup off. It just takes it right off. And it basically just took that mascara right off. But this is the finished, um, like, middle school makeup look. Uh, yeah, it's really simple, really easy, you guys. Like, I could do this in five minutes if I wasn't blabbing my mouth. But it's really quick and easy and if this is what if you want to start wearing makeup in middle school but you don't want to wear too much and you're not exactly sure like what to do or how to do it definitely just do something like this like I would wear this out on just like going to errands or running errands or something like that like it looks very youthful natural pretty you look put together you look like you did something in the morning but you didn't spend like an hour doing it and you don't look overdone this is really good for younger girls um, who are in middle school once again switch up the lips how you like if you want to wear a little bit of eyeshadow go for it but typically on a daily basis if you don't want to wear eyeshadow or something like that don't don't do it it's it's honestly just kind of like a hassle and another step that you have to do um i really like this and i hope you guys did too um let me know what other videos you guys want to see in the comments section below and i will try to get to those videos but i hope you guys like this video um if you guys want to see more videos like this one then subscribe to my channel and uh i'll see you guys in the next one Bye, guys.